In this video, we will see how to create uh, API resources in Laravel 12. So if I open my code editor here, and you can see that we do not have any uh, controllers. So we have models called as countries, languages, user, and category. And we have database seeding that is done. So if you didn't watch my previous video, you can watch. Uh, where I show everything like how to create seeding files, how to create migrations and so on. And in this video, let's create an API resource controller for countries. Okay, so uh, then we'll take other uh, 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 modules like categories, languages. So let's get started and let me open my Docker. Uh, so if I go to my containers here, and this is my Laravel application and uh, if I click on this, so I can click on execute and run command. So if you need to also see Docker, how to set up Docker and all, I have also another video, uh, so you can watch that. So now let's create an API resource. So let's run the command php artisan, artisan make controller. And this will be a country controller dash dash API. Since we are creating an API resource, so we need to put dash dash API and click on enter. And let's see if our country controller is getting created. Okay, you can see that our controller has been created. And if I go to my code editor, if I run this, you can see all the resource files have been created here. See, so you can see the comments, the specified resources for storage, the display specified resource, and so on. So I got four functions in this. Okay, now I'll show you how to run also this. Uh, like now, let's create, uh, Let's since we already have the data into the database, let's create uh let's create functionality okay so so in a index file uh, in an index file let's send uh the countries let's list all the countries okay you can see that the country model is not imported so i'm just going to type country here and import it from the countries model Okay, and I'm sending the 200 response that all the countries uh, have been found, okay? So, okay, we have sent these countries. So these are directly coming from the database. Now on the top of the API routes, I have used country controller. So I've imported country controller here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste this. So you can see that uh, this is an API resource route and it has the route of countries and it maps to country controller, okay? Now I'll save this and I'll open my Postman, okay? And if I come here and if I change this to countries, okay, if I change this to countries, so here what would happen is it will list all the countries to me. So let's see if this works. Uh, so you can see all the countries have been listed from the API. Okay, so from the table. So all these countries are been sent as a JSON response. Okay, now let's see uh, how to uh, get an individual country, okay? So let's work on that. So if I go to this, so if I go to my controller here, then in the show method, I can just paste this command and my uh, status code will be 200, okay? So it will find the country by ID and it would display the 200, okay? And it would display that particular country. Now let's let's go to the uh, postman and see how we would uh, list that country now. Okay, so I'm going to list uh, six six nineteen. Let's uh, list the uh, six nineteen country, and if I click on enter, so it will display me one result. So let's see if it works. 
okay you can see that the country has been listed so if i do 120 here so the next country will be listed so this would take little time but it would list uh okay you can see that the country has been listed okay now let's uh create a new country okay uh let's create a new country now so now let's store the countries into the database so let's store a country into the database and if i say country here and if i uh say 200 so we will also send a response as 200 and here uh now let's run this command like let's post the data so uh like countries and let's make it put no let me make it post and the route will be countries and the uh, body elements will be name and code so like in my body i will say let's make it test country name would be test country and the uh, code will be okay let's make it tc okay uh okay oh these two parameters and let's send the uh, request uh this would take some time but we should see a country created uh, okay let's create another name uh let's put another name here that is uh my test okay so my test country country and this will be mtc okay the country code okay and let's send this request and see if the country is getting created uh, there is something wrong with my route i think uh why this is coming uh i'm using post and i'm using this uh So let's send it again and see what happens. Okay, you can see that my test country has been created here. Okay, so the route was wrong. So I changed the route. So this is uh, creating me a new country. Okay, let's see how to update a country now. Okay, let's go to uh, update function and let's update this. And the uh, other parameter will be uh, the status code, okay, 200, okay. So this will be the other parameter and, uh, and let's uh, run this now. Okay, let's run this. We can put patch or put. Okay, if countries, let's put patch and we'll change the name, we will change the same country which we added. So it will be patch and the ID parameter will be this and uh, let's delete this uh, and send the parameters that we want to delete. So let's, we want to update. So let's say name and what we will put here is your test country okay your test test country and value code will be let's update the code as well so y y t c okay and let's send this okay we are using a patch so let's send this and see what we get uh So the country has been updated, okay.
Okay, next what we will do is now we have a delete functionality which is left. So let's work on delete. Okay, and uh, let's uh, delete this entry. So we'll see what uh, command is to delete the entry. Okay, so 127 I'm going to delete. And if I send a request here, so let's see if this works. Okay, okay, uh, nothing would come because I have not updated the function. So let's update this. Okay, let's update this function and uh, this will be deleted, country deleted. So this would be country deleted here. And uh, if I run this command now back again, Okay, you can see that country has been deleted. Okay, now let's run the countries and check. Uh, oh no, I'll just cancel this. Uh, let's run, let's get all the countries and we can see that the country has been deleted. Okay, you can see all the data coming and there is no country of your country, your test country. So the country has been deleted successfully. Okay, this is how we create API resources in Laravel. Also, let's update the status code if the country is not found. We could send a message 404, like, you know, country not found 404. So let's do that. Okay, let's do some improvements in the API. Uh, okay, let's go to the editor. Firstly, let's see. Uh, We'll post this uh, into the index. So if the countries are empty, then we'll send 404 error. Okay, so this is one of the improvements we did. And we are sending the countries in, a, we are assigning countries to the countries uh, parameter. So we'll save this. Then uh, next in the store function, let's, create, let's uh, update the store function. Okay, with this JSON response. Okay, so country created successfully and the country tab will have the country. Okay, next, uh, let's go to show. And let's update this uh, code here. So if the country is not found, it will give us 404. Okay, next, we will go to update. And we will replace this code with this. So if the country is not found, it will show us country not found. Okay, then next we'll go to delete. Delete, let's replace this code with this. And if the country is not found, it will show this. Okay. So we'll save this. And now the API should work as we expected. Okay, let's go to our postman. And uh, countries. Okay, let's uh, remove this post parameters here. Then let's uh, get, so we'll get the list of countries. So you can see the countries coming in the countries tab now. Okay, so if I get one country now like if i say one here it should give me a uh, error that country message that country is not found so let's see if that works uh, i think we didn't update the show function so so let's go to show function here and uh, so we have sent, uh, we have said country not found. Let's see if it throws. Yeah, you can see that the message is come country not found. Okay, so this this is how the this is how the APIs are created in Laravel 12. There are different ways we can also create resources and send a resource files and send the responses in the resource files.